Hey everyone, so this is a calculating the area video and this is kind of a part two from my video where I explained how to work out the area of a square and the area of a rectangle. Now you don't need to have seen that previous one but I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. I'll explain everything in this video for you too and hopefully make it nice and straightforward. So question number one, we have this L shape here, we have the side lengths and we need to find out the area. I don't know if anyone wants to take a guess, you can pause the video and do a comment down below or you can just think to yourself if you want to guess how we might approach this. Now we are going to use previous knowledge on how to find the area of a square and a rectangle, if that helps. Okay, so if you weren't sure, or if you know anyway, we're gonna draw this line here and we're gonna separate it into two shapes because that way we separate it into a square and a rectangle and we know how to work out the area of each of those and then we can add those two areas together and that will give us the area of the whole L shape, okay? Hopefully that all makes sense so far, but if not, you can leave any comments or questions down below. So let's first find the area of the square at the top. So it's going to be a two by two meter square. So two meters times two meters is equal to four meters squared. So like before, if you want the area of a square, all you do is times one side length by the other side length. And that's going to give you the area of the square in meters squared. So that's going to be four meters squared. Okay, so now let's find the area of the rectangle. So we can see we've got one side length of five meters and one side length of two meters. They will also obviously have another side length of two meters and another of five meters. But you just take the two unique side lengths touching each other. So in this case, it's two and five. And then you times them together to give you the area. So that's going to give us 10 meters squared. Because we're working with areas, you take the meters, you times them together too. That's why we get the squared afterwards. So two meters times five meters is 10 meters squared. So we have two lots of areas with four meters squared and 10 meters squared. So if you're working with area it's always going to be in whatever it is measured in squared and for example when you're working with let's say volume that would be cubed and you know so on and so forth so it depends what what you're working with whether it be squared or cubed or just normal so the next thing we want to do is add these two areas together so we take four meters squared plus ten meters squared so you just add them like you would add anything else you can kind of imagine it as i've got one meter squared then one meter squared so you just have two meters squared, you know? So for example, four meters squared plus 10 meters squared, all you do is add the numbers together. That's gonna give us 14 meters squared. So the total area is 14 meters squared, okay? Hopefully that made sense, hopefully it was clear. If not, leave any comments down below. And yeah, thanks for watching and best of luck with your math.